we have three questions for you today. And the first one is, what are the core territorial issues in China's foreign policy and why? Um, I think territorial integrity is very important um, in China's foreign policy. As I said uh, during the talk, it's one of the five principles of peaceful coexistence guiding or governing China's foreign policy. And um, because it's to do with national interests, it's to do with national feelings, and uh, is to do with the defense of sovereignty and, uh, and uh, uh, self-defense. Um, territorial uh, integrity, territorial issues are always very, very important. China has a long and troubled history of territorial integration. What can we learn from it? Um, China had no control when it was very weak. Uh, in the 19th century over its borders because all the foreign powers uh, tended to intrude into its territories when China itself was engulfed in you know, uh, uh, domestic wars and strife and uh, civil wars and so on. And when, again, you know, the border regions uh, differ from central government in terms of how to regulate the borders and boundaries with foreign countries. Um, so I think the first thing to learn is that you have to be very strong. You have to negotiate, uh, you know, from the point of strength. But equally, uh, as you can see from the process of China's negotiations with foreign countries, with neighboring countries over borders, um, is always um, important and uh, practicable to have give and take between the two sides. You just cannot have everything to yourself. Um, when it comes to a larger picture of long-term international peace and security, you know the thorny issues over borders should be uh, quickly removed uh, if both sides see eye to eye with each other over larger issues. What are the key concerns driving China's foreign policy on territorial issues? Um, one of the things that uh, China is, um, is uh, 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 concerned about is um, third-party intervention. Um, uh, as I said in my talk, uh, naturally, as a, as a nation, the Chinese were averse to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, third-party intervention or multilateral, you know, arbitration, that sort of thing. I think from the point of view of, uh, of the Chinese government, uh, they are very keen to resolve the issues bilaterally with countries concerned. But again, it's not going to be that easy um, because a lot of uh, neighboring countries share similar concerns, such as uh, in South China Sea. So Southeast Asian nations want to have a dialogue together with China, and China should, you know, be active participating in it. Uh, we hope that uh, negotiation will eventually bear fruit towards a full-fledged binding document uh, on the code of conduct over the South China Sea. But that's multilateral diplomacy, and China has to be active in it.